Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Kushi Prajapati, a third year MBBS student from HBD Medical College, which is in Mumbai. So first of all, thank you so much for showering so much love on the first video, which was things to buy in first year MBBS. And we are really close to hitting 1000 subscribers. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. So today's video is about study resources available for first year MBBS students. And this is part one where I'll be talking about books to be used. And there will be part two where I'll be sharing about different digital resources like YouTube videos and different kind of videos which are available for first year MBBS students. But before moving to the core content, I have few rules which you need to follow. So rule number one is don't follow what your seniors or your friends or even I am recommending very blindly without doing your own research. Rule number two is don't buy everything, every book available. First download the PDF, read it. If you think that that book is suitable for you, then go ahead and buy it. Rule number three is uh, try to stick to one book, but it's completely okay if you have to use multiple books for different topics. Rule number four is make your own notes for important questions which keep recurring in your university exams. So the first subject which we'll be talking about is anatomy. Now anatomy was my personal favorite subject. It is a very beautiful subject but equally difficult to remember and thus one of the most hated subjects as well. So we'll be dividing anatomy into smaller parts and then I'll be telling you books accordingly. So first part of anatomy is general anatomy. It is a very small part of anatomy and it forms the foundation of anatomy. So when you enter MBBS, the first uh, thing which you'll be taught in anatomy is uh, general anatomy. So for general anatomy, there are two books which are available. One is Vishram Singh and one is B.D. Chaurasia. B.D. Chaurasia is a very small book, like it is just a notebook size book and it has just barely 100 pages, I suppose. And Vishram Singh is comparatively a bigger book, but I would prefer Vishram Singh any day over BDC because of its easy language and really easy diagrams, which are really easy to reproduce in exams. So my choice for general anatomy would be Vishram Singh. So now coming to the second part, which is gross anatomy. This is the most important and the most difficult to read and understand. And this forms the major chunk of anatomy. So again, for this, we have two books, which is Vishram Singh and B BDC. A lot of people prefer BDC because of its legacy, but uh, I would recommend you to use Vishram Singh because it's really good. I mean, this is one book which I have loved f since my first year and it, I love it till date. It is very nice. It, it has clinical based questions. It is very easy to read, very easy to understand and the diagrams are very easy to reproduce in exams. So I would highly, highly recommend uh, Vishram Singh over BTC. Same for neuroanatomy. Neuroanatomy ke liye toh, there is no competition only. Vishram Singh is the ultimate winner for neuroanatomy. It is very nicely given. Again, diagrams are very easy and anatomy is all about diagrams. Okay. In exams, if you write everything but don't draw diagrams, you won't get any marks. So diagrams are something which are really important in anatomy. So next part of anatomy is embryology. And for embryology, we have two books. Uh, there's Indabir Singh and there's Vishram Singh. I read Indabir Singh, but uh, later I discovered Vishram Singh during my exams and it was really good again. So I would recommend you to read Vishram Singh for embryology as well. And there's one more book called Keith and Moore, but it is a very high level book, a very standard book for embryology. So if you have any doubts or any concepts which you are not able to understand, you can definitely go check that book out. Next part of anatomy is histology. Histology is basically the diagrams which you draw in the h &E pencils, uh, the pink and purple color diagrams. So basically it's more of a practical importance than a theoretical importance. But anyways, if, ex if question comes in exam where you have to write about some organ or some part of the body, you definitely have to draw the histological diagram as well. And sometimes just the histology comes as it is in the question and you have to describe it. So for histology, the book I used was Ivy Singh and it was definitely enough for uh, first year histology. And the diagrams were also really good and easier to reproduce. So next part of anatomy is genetics and this forms a very small part of anatomy. People don't even open the book till the last day of exam. So I would recommend you to get a PDF of this book rather than buying it because you're not going to study it very much as or very frequently as you would be reading on other books. 
and the book uh, which I would recommend for genetics is Gangne. So next most controversial question is Grace padna chahiye ya nahi? First year MBBS mein aato, within a high energy, you start reading Grace but then you see ki tumhe kuch yaad hi nahi ho raha hai usse and it's really difficult to reproduce answers from, from Grace in exams. So I'll give you a solution. Grace mein there are two. One is the international edition and one is a student's edition. So go read student's edition. It's really beautiful book. It's very nice, easy to understand. It has a lot of amazing diagrams. You can easily understand the concepts from Gray's Anatomy student's edition. And then for exams, maybe you can read on Vishram Singh for the pointers or you can make your own notes from Gray's Anatomy student's edition. But uh, make sure if you're reading Gray's, then read it from start to end. And you have to be really consistent. Like Rose Phanna Padega, Tabi Tumara Gray's Khatam Hoga. There's one more book which I would highly recommend you to read during exams, which is VG Savant SAQs. So basically, it has question and answers and the answers are very beautifully written. The questions are so much high yield. So definitely use that book for your exams to score more marks. Next is the Atlas. Uh, so in anatomy, it's very important for you to visualize everything. And what will help you in visualization is first is very important dissection. Dissection time pe dhyan dena. Second is there are digital aids available which I'll talk about in uh, next video. And third thing which is available are atlas. So basically there are two atlases, uh, themas and netters atlas. You can use either. Just get a PDF or if you want you can buy a book but they are really expensive. I think one book costs 4000 to 5000. But they are definitely useful, especially in first year to understand anatomy. So next subject is physiology. Now this is one of the most loved subjects by student and this is very easy to understand, very easy to write in exams and majority of the physiology you can write on the basis of your 12th uh, biology knowledge as well. So in physiology, we have three category of books. One is the standard books, second is Indian authors and third is exam oriented books. So we'll start with standard books. So standard mein there are three books available. One is Gaitin, one is Ganong and one is Indu Kurana. Indu Kurana is by an Indian author and Gaitin and Ganong are foreign, foreign authors. So usually pre people prefer uh, using Gaitin or Ganong, but uh, I'll tell you what's the difference. So Ganong is the highest standard book. Any quiz you want to appear for, any international quiz or any national level quiz, you should read Ganong because udar se questions aate. It has a lot of information, lot of data, which you need to ratify honestly. So that's the reason I did not like Ganong a lot. The second book, which is Guyton, this is a book I read for physiology. It is a very nice book. It has written concepts very beautifully. It does not cover all the syllabus according to the Indian curriculum, but definitely it covers majority of the concepts. And third is Indu Khurana. So Indu Khurana is something which teachers prefer a lot. You can check that book's PDF out. I read it for a few topics and it was really nice. So you can compare which book you want again. Read, go through the PDFs. Just read one one pages, one one chapters. That's enough. Whichever book suits you, whichever book is really easy for you to understand and grasp, read that book. Second part is Indian authors. Now in Indian authors, we have a lot of lot of books and majority of the population prefers reading Indian authors because exam ke liye unne alag se padna hai. If you read Guyton, you won't be able to write answers in exam. So thus people prefer reading Indian authors. So what are the books available by Indian authors? So the first one is AK Jain. Now AK Jain is a very concise form of physiology and it has kind of uh, very nicely written answers you can easily reproduce in exams. But I personally did not like this book a lot because it does not explain you concepts. It is basically for exams only. Many of my friends read AK Jain and they scored really well. But that was not my personal favorite. The second book which is available is GK Pal. So I tried my hands on GK Pal but it has a lot of irrelevant information which is not really important or necessary for us. So then I just just got rid of it. I did not continue with GK Pal. I continued with uh, Guyton only. Some of my friends read GK Pal and made it their primary book and wrote answers from it in the exams and they scored really well. So it's again, it's the it's your personal choice because not everyone can understand the same kind of language. 
so just go through books whichever i am telling and then find your choice and then buy books third book which is used really commonly in students is semiolingam so it is a very average book basically and it definitely has a lot of errors uh, i would not recommend it but i was just telling you so that you know what options do you have next is exam oriented books so one of the most most famous and the life saver book is vd joshi so it's a small book of physiology in kind of question and answer format and it really helps you pass physiology so the second book is bj notes which is really famous in maharashtra a lot of people use it so it's again a question and answer book and it has direct answers to all the long questions so you can definitely use it so it's a really good book for exams now the third book is physicon so physicon is basically a synopsis of guyton so i used it for my exams because i was reading guyton primarily so during exams i use physicon it is a concise version of guyton which is in uh, answerable format the last kind of category in physiology is review book the most famous one and the really good one is linda costanza she has written in a very simplified manner very easy to understand concepts and there are mcqs also so next subject is biochemistry which is a subject which everyone reads at the last moment it is a very short and sweet and simple subject but then last moment pe padhte ho to fir band bachti hai so isme bhi we have uh, four categories starting with uh, standard books there are two books harper and lippincott both are really nice books uh, i prefer lippincott slightly more than harper and also lippincott so you can write answers in biochemistry to some extent so what you can do is you can read lippincott and make your own notes if you love biochemistry that much because obviously these are big books to read compared to the indian authors but yeah it's ultimately your choice this category is indian authors in indian authors we have three very much known books one is satyanarayana second is vasudevan and third is pankaja nayak so i use vasudevan for my biochemistry preparation vasudevan is a very nice book but it has a lot of extra information it is relevant also but it is definitely extra at ug level in satyanarayana it's like no extra information given it is a book which would suffice you for your university exams as well as for neat pg so it is definitely a good book uh, if you ask me i would recommend you to read satyanarayana but yeah you can read vasudevan also pankaja nayak i have not read it so much but it is also a good book next category of book is the exam oriented books so for this there is a book called single biochemistry and this is like the best book honestly ye nahi hota to i would have not passed my first terminal of biochemistry because tabhi biochem i was not at all prepared for biochemistry so i just went through single and it covers everything which is needed everything which is important so cut short all the extra information and you have a single of biochemistry so definitely read this book specially for exams the second thing which i would recommend for exams is dr rajesh jambulkar's notes he also has his youtube channel which is really nice he explains it very nicely and covers all the questions which could possibly come in your university exams or pg exams so definitely use his notes for exams the last uh, category is review books again for uh, biochemistry there is rebecca james ma'am ka review book which is really nice it has a lot of mcqs and a lot of beautiful concepts so you can definitely use it uh, when you want to prepare for mcqs So I've given you a list of lot of books and all the available options and all the pros and cons which I have understood from my experience but ultimately if you ask for my recommendation this is a personal opinion so please don't follow it blindly I would say Vishram Singh for anatomy uh, general gross neuro uh, embryology IB for histology and Gagne for genetics for biochemistry you can read satyanarayana for physiology guyton plus physicon and bj notes so yeah that's it from my side hope this video helped you clear your doubts about uh, books to be used in first year if you have any queries any comments any suggestions any video ideas please make sure to comment i'll also share the links of all the books which i mentioned in the description box make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel of this video Help you clear your doubts. Thank you for watching. About study resources, which अरे यार ये दरवाजा तो अलग बिटी दे रहा है. तू आगे रहे. Resources to be used in. So today's video, 
Tschüss, Frau. Tschüss.